Hi, thanks for joining us on Focus Washington. I'm Karen Hanrady, sitting in today for Chuck Conconian. We have a very special guest. Uh, we're very honored to have Mexico's Health Secretary, Jose Angel Cardova, joining us. Mr. Cardova has been hailed by the New York Times, the uh, World Health Organization, and the CDC for your uh, very efficient and transparent handling of the H1N1 flu virus last spring. And I'm hoping that, you know, as we in the United States and in Mexico are preparing to deal with round two of this flu epidemic this fall and winter, if you could share with us some of the lessons that you learned uh, last spring. Sure. Well, you know, the first lesson is that the virus was not so aggressive that we thought before. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really different than the H5N1. It's uh, a virus with a lethality and transmission like the seasonal, flu, seasonal virus. And uh, the other uh, lessons that we had is uh, we need uh, to have these laboratories with PCR uh, ready to do all these tests and uh, well to prepare uh, for this new wave that we will have on the next winter in the hospitals with the stockpiles of uh, uh, vaccines and uh, medications and zooms that we need and overall the, the beds that we could use for the people that needs to be into the hospital and to be ready with the respirators that are very important when you have a, a severe case. Right. And how did the U.S. and Mexico and the Center for Disease Control, you really entered into a bilateral agreement. Could you share how did that work? How are you going to take the lessons from that uh, and, and possibly apply it to other areas? Well, uh, CDC uh, support us very much for the diagnosis of this new virus at, uh, on April. And now we following working together all this month for the several strategies that we are going to put in place in Mexico and the United States and Canada to, you know, we are working together to preparing the, this uh, new plan of preparedness against uh, the new wave. And uh, we had a very good relationships with them and the cooperation is essential, I think, to, mm -hmm. to uh, do face uh, for this new threat that we have. What kind of grade would you give the Mexican government for its handling of the H1N1 flu? What kind of what? What, what grade would you give? Do you, I mean, how, how look, looking back, are there some areas where you would improve upon? Are there some, uh, some areas that you would take away that uh, you would offer as, a, as an example to others? Well, I, I think that uh, the reaction of the Mexican government was... Uh, quite well because uh, we have uh, been prepared during the uh, several months uh, waiting for the other virus but uh, anyway the the, pl the plan preparedness plan was the same mm -hmm. and um, uh, I think that uh, the cooperation with other countries was essential and uh, now uh, the actions that we did it we uh, we think that well uh, was uh, very well done because if we don't uh, close the schools uh, or did another actions, we never stopped it as so fast that we did it, mm -hmm. the, the first outbreak. Right, and how do you continue to monitor H1N1? Uh, it's, it obviously reached a peak in spring, but we're preparing again for fall and winter. What are you doing to monitor it in Mexico? Well, first of all, it's uh, very important to, to have a very good surveillance uh, strategy that means that uh, every one of the states in the Republic, Mexican Republic, has the possibility to put in the, into the place the uh, notification of the new cases. And for that, it's essential to have the laboratory working. Mm -hmm. And now most of the states has uh, this possibility to PCR, uh, to have the microbiology diagnosis uh, at the time that we need it. Mm -hmm. And do you feel Mexico is prepared uh, to deal with the, the new onslaught, I mean, we're, you know, the headlines tell us that we're facing uh, an epidemic. Uh, do you feel that your country is prepared? I think so, because, mm -hmm. well, the lesson learned was very important. As I told you before, that uh, the aggressivity of the virus is different, fortunately. Mm -hmm. And uh, we prepare it because we know what were our deficiencies. Uh, we now have uh, uh, more uh, knowledge about what can we do 
in the case of because uh, you know the plants are always the plants right. that is very important to live the experience and when you have uh, had living this experience you have uh, be much better preparation for everybody and overall what's very important is the information that the people has now the people know that they must cooperate on cleaning their hands or cleaning the, the surface to avoiding the shaking their hands or or the kissing or uh, avoiding the speed and uh, several things that are important to to have uh, good prevention of the transmission. Right. Secretary Jose Angel Cardova, this has uh, been a real pleasure talking to you. You've done a tremendous job in Mexico. Uh, I think people feel much more confident as we head into fall and winter knowing that we've learned a lot of lessons from this past spring. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your pleasure. I'm Karen Hanready. This is Focus Washington. Join us next time.